All right, so day one of training camp has concluded just yesterday. I'm going to be uploading a video for each day the day after, so keep that in mind. Today has already started and it's gone really well, so I'm excited for tomorrow. So be sure to tune in for that one. Subscribe. There's going to be a great video tomorrow on the training camp. Uh, as always, Mac Jones was like one of the first or second guys on the field. I think he was the second guy in day one. So here's a video of that. I think it's funny there's a narrative that a lot of Patriots fans aren't happy with Mac Jones. I've heard a lot of non-Patriots fans trying to say like, oh, a lot of Patriots fans don't have a lot of hope because Mac Jones this and Mac Jones that. It's a really stupid narrative because I think almost all Patriots fans are huge Mac Jones fans after last season. We know it was one of the best rookie seasons by a quarterback of all time, probably a top 10 rookie season by a quarterback overall. Uh, and as far as accuracy, it has to be like, if, if not the best, one of the best, uh, just super poised, uh, especially for that stretch where we went on a huge winning streak. I mean, extremely good to see. Uh, but Patriots were really Patriots fans. That is, were very excited to see him on the field uh, as they were yet last year. I almost said yesterday as they were last year, uh, they were this year as well. Super, super happy to see him uh, getting that applause that he deserves. Now, the second clip here was a pass uh, just to some of the coaches, I guess, or some of the trainers. Uh, but look at that. Oh, my God. What was that? I mean, we're definitely winning the Super Bowl five years in a row after that. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen a quarterback that confident. Um, that was really cool to see. A lot of people were posting this on Twitter like, yep, Patriots are winning the Super Bowl. Obviously, that's not my expectations this season, but uh, that was really cool to see. Mac Jones always comes out in these training camp videos and does like crazy stuff that you just wouldn't expect him to be able to do because he's, he's a quarterback. You know, you don't really expect him to be able to just like kick the ball and like, I don't even know what that was. Um, but he dropped the pass and he found a way to make up for it. And obviously people were really excited about that. So I thought that was cool. Um, now, here's a clip of him explaining kind of what the offense might look like this season from a coaching perspective. Yeah, I think um, obviously Coach Belichick's done a great job kind of explaining exactly what we want to do as an offense. And Matty P has seen so many different defenses along with uh, Coach Belichick. So it's like they combine their knowledge of how to attack the defense. And that's something that's really stood out to me. Um, and they're great guys who, you know, Coach Judge, they all bring this different energy to the room when they're presenting. So um, they all are trying to get us to work together. And that's the good, most important part is we're all on the same page regardless of who's talking, who's making the decision on a play or whatnot. And it's always an open conversation, which I love. Do you feel ownership in terms of, hey, they're, they're coming to me, they want me, yeah. they're listening to me. Yeah, at the end of the day, the players play and the coaches coach, and you want to listen to the good coaching that you can get from three coaches who have all been head coaches. So they see a ton and ton of football, and that's what I'm just trying to take in is what is something that each one of them says in a meeting that I can take with me, whether that's about life or football, and then apply it to the game. Um, and like I said, they all bring a different perspective, but I feel like they're listening to the players. Hey, we kind of like this concept. All right, let's try it. Or if they you know, want to put in something else, they explain the why. And that's the important part for me is understanding why we're doing something. And from there, as a player, my job is to go execute the place. So you probably, if you're like me, didn't hear most of that because there's a kid screaming in the background. I don't know what he was talking about. He was like, Mac, Mac. But yeah, I mean, if it wasn't for that, we'd be able to hear a little bit more clearly. It was quiet anyway. But basically, he said a lot of things that typical quarterbacks would say. I don't even know what the question was, but he said a lot of like, yeah, we're, you know, talk, we're having open conversations, you know, the typical stuff that you would say. But there was some interesting things in there, some interesting perspectives, because a lot of people have been concerned with the offensive coordinator type situation. Now it's becoming kind of clear we're not going to have an offensive coordinator officially. It's going to be kind of a tandem effort. Uh, if you will, the Patriots the last couple of seasons have been getting a little bit interesting with those coordinator type positions, having no clear defensive coordinator for a couple of years there, things like that. So this isn't anything too crazy for the Patriots to do. And I, for one, was feeling a little bit pessimistic about the offensive coordinator situation because there was no clear offensive coach 
on the team at all, but he brings up an interesting perspective that I I never really thought of. He brings up the fact that all of these guys, and, and by these guys, I mean mostly Bill Belichick and then Matt Patricia, which will be working with the offense ext- extensively, um, have great defensive perspective. And the advantage that that brings, instead of having an offensive-minded offensive coordinator, you have these guys that are defensive experts. Now, Matt Patricia, that's a little bit, you know, up in the air. Is he a defensive expert or not? But some people think his defense sucked. I do think he has... He's smart and he knows a lot about the defense. It just ends up being kind of not good sometimes. But definitely Bill Belichick is a defensive mastermind. And the perspective that that brings is he knows defensive so defenses so well in general that he can help Mac Jones understand that from the perspective of a guy who puts the best defense on the field. Sometimes some of the best defenses of all time over the past 20 some years, uh, this, this guy is a defensive mastermind, and he can teach Mac Jones that. Imagine a quarterback that is a defensive mastermind and understands what's going on on the defensive side of the ball from the offense as a quarterback. And Mac Jones definitely seems to have the mental capacity to understand football like that. That's another thing. His football IQ is so high, and it seems like his um, intelligence in general is very high. I think nobody's questioning that. I think it's mostly athleticism that some people question, but nobody questions his mind. And having that defensive defensive mindset and def, defensive perspective could just bring a very interesting element to the offense this year. And that makes me feel really optimistic. Very, very interesting stuff that I never really thought of. Now, I know that part might have been a little bit boring. Here's some passes. Let's talk about some passes. This was to uh, Tyquan Thornton, our new rookie wide receiver, second round pick. Um, I like this row. Obviously, there's no defense. Obviously, uh the defender is a coach there, so it doesn't really say much, but the pass is on point, obviously. Um, a nice high pass where if there's a, defen- a, a defensive player close, it's a low probability of being picked. We saw a lot of passes like that for Mac Jones. That's another thing he's really good at. He can put the ball where he wants it, almost to a very pinpoint uh, extent. It's very interesting how accurate he is. Um, and Taekwon Thornton seems to have good hands, and he can catch that high ball really easily there. Really cool to see. Obviously, he's number 51 right now. It's really funny to see Patriots rookies with these numbers that they have because they haven't officially earned a spot on the roster yet. Obviously, Tyquan Thornton will be on the roster, uh, but it's always been kind of funny to me. Now, here's a tweet. This was by Mark Daniels. Um, So this was an interesting thing that happened yesterday that you won't really see a video of, but it is interesting to read about. Uh, It says, defense had a nice stand versus Mac Jones. Jalen Mills deflected a pass for Parker. And then Joshua Bledsoe, who's a safety on the team. We haven't really seen a lot of him over the years. But deflected a throw to Myers as well. So it seems like they were, you know, the defense was getting the best of the offense there. Which you like to see. We know Mac Jones is accurate. And the the offense has, you know, we have really good uh, offensive plays. and, And just the Patriots in general do. Um, so to see the, the defense standing to the offense is a good thing to see. Could make you a little bit concerned about the offense, but what happened next is Matt came back in the red zone next to next red zone, zone period and finished three for three with the offense celebrating with every touchdown, three of three. So they bounced back. So the defense had a good stand there, and then the offense had a really good outing. So I guess that's the best of both worlds you can really ask for. So I really like that tweet. I like to hear that the defense was able to kind of get the best of the offense, and then the offense was able to fire back with three for three in the red zone. And if you don't know, the Patriots over the past, like, I don't even know, five years maybe have struggled in the red zone, even with Tom Brady. That's been just a really grueling, annoying thing. It seems like the closer we are to the red zone, the harder it is for us to get in there, especially from the passing perspective. So it is good to see them go three for three. And I actually do have one clip. I think that is from that three for three uh, time period there in the red zone. Uh, And it's right here. And it's actually going to be to Devontae Parker here. Uh, And this was just a great throw. And Honestly, it's not even bad defense. It's actually Malcolm Butler right there, number two. Um, And Mac Jones is able to deliver a very high ball. Obviously, uh, we can see that Devontae Parker has good separation, maybe about two-yard separation there, heading towards the corner of the end zone. But he's very close to the the out-of-bounds line. So Malcolm Butler is able to close in. But what Mac Jones is able to do with that pinpoint accuracy we were talking about is he's able to high point that ball 
to where Malcolm Butler just has no chance. Being a yard or two away, maybe closing into about a yard or half a yard even, he still has no chance of getting up there to where that ball is. And Devontae Parker, if you didn't know, is a good um, physical wide receiver that can high point the ball like that. So if Mac Jones is able to accurately deliver passes like that consistently, Devontae Parker will be able to, to go up and get it consistently too, which could make that a really good quarterback wide receiver duo, especially in the red zone that could be utilized like we see here. So that is very, very exciting to see, to say the least. Well, anyway, that's basically it I have for the training camp day one. That basically concludes this video for Mac Jones. It's basically what most people care about anyway, is how Mac Jones and the offense is doing in the training camp. So we're going to focus on this primarily. Uh, last year, we saw the first couple of days, we saw less footage, or at least the first day. We start to see more and more footage as the days progress. So I expect a lot more to come uh, first off um, from day two, day three. Uh, we will start to see a lot more footage, and I'll have more than just five clips to show you or however many this was. We'll probably be pushing on 10 or 15 clips at times. So there's a lot more to come. Again, be sure to subscribe to the best Patriots content on YouTube as we'll be breaking down these training camp videos every single day that we get more footage. So tune in for that. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment down below with what your thoughts are on any of these specific plays or in general how you feel about the offense this upcoming year. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.